647. Want to get a check of that forecast with Carson this weekend. Not seeming to be too shabby. Yeah, but but not going to be as warm today, you say, as we might have hoped. Yeah, not as warm today, guys, and right. really not as warm this weekend either. The weekend, kind of some trade-offs, if you will. The sunshine will be back. Those temperatures will still be right around 60 degrees. This morning, still chilly too. In the mid-40s on the Wait 31 Skycam Network, you can see that cloud cover that's filtered in over the last several hours, and it'll be a bit on the gloomy side today. But I do think many of us will stay dry across the Wait 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network, but as we go through the day today, there may be just enough moisture around to get a few sprinkles. It's only a 10% chance. I think a lot of us will stay dry, but it's not out of the question to see a shower here and there. Otherwise, expect mostly cloudy skies. Those temperatures well below average for this time of year. Usually we're right around 70 in late March. We're going to be lucky if we get out of the 50s today. In fact, 59 is our forecast high. Another very breezy day as well. That wind is pretty calm as you're walking out the door this morning. But later on today, especially by noon, yeah, seeing those gusts around 25 miles per hour out of the west. And it will stay breezy through the overnight hours tonight and even into your weekend as well. So the cooler conditions are sticking around. So is the wind. But all in all, the weekend looks pretty good. We'll have a lot of sunshine. So just get outside over the weekend, even into early next week too. Sure outdoors, no problems whatsoever, really until next Tuesday. And that's when our next cold front arrives. Until then, on future radar, you see those clouds moving through this afternoon. That's about it. There you see one of those impulses of energy with just enough moisture to squeeze out a few of those showers, mainly in northeast Alabama, according to this data source after midnight tonight. So if you are going to be out very late tonight, Maybe not a bad idea to just have that umbrella in the car to be on the safe side, but I don't think you'll necessarily need to carry it with you as you're out and about tonight. Regardless of any showers that do develop, they're gone by the time you wake up on Saturday morning, and we'll have lots of sunshine for the entirety of this upcoming weekend. But look at the frost freeze forecast. I haven't used this graphic in a while. Look at that low tomorrow morning, 39 degrees, not expecting a frost for your Saturday. By Sunday, though, that might be a different story. That's 33 degrees here in the city. Outlying areas could wind up in the lower 30, so there's a decent chance to see frost, maybe a light freeze in parts of North Alabama. One saving grace we may have is a light breeze Saturday night and Sunday morning. That might ease the frost concerns just a little bit. But just to be safe, might not be a bad idea to cover up those sensitive plants and vegetation on Sunday morning. Then we look ahead to Wednesday. I mentioned that next cold front. As is the case with any cold front this time of year, we have that threat for severe weather. That level two risk was issued this morning for much of Mississippi and western Tennessee. And you see that risk just clips our Shoals counties as well on Wednesday. Way too early for any more specifics than this. It looks like a Wednesday night, Thursday morning time frame with this cold front. That would help us limit our severe weather concerns, but still five days away. A lot can change, and of course, we have to look through more data this weekend before we give you a better idea of that exact timing with that Wednesday cold front. Seven-day forecast a quiet pattern until then 71 by Monday. How about 80 on Tuesday and Wednesday? And then we cool back down behind that front to close out the month of March next Thursday. Okay, Carson looks pretty good.